supremacist Nazis and shit. Like, the, the, just you're talking about social issues. The the meanest people are the left wing people for whatever reason. Especially and, now. And this is not to say there's not some cunts out there that are right wing people. There's a ton of them. Yeah. But I just it's commonplace for people who consider themselves good, yeah. kind people to say things like punch a Nazi. Right. And then they get to define what a Nazi is and has nothing to do with a right. swastika, nothing to do with hating Jews. Yeah. You know, you just be you voted Republican. Oh, you're a fascist. Right. Okay. What, you tell me first of all, what does that mean? Yeah. You tell me what that means. Tell me what that word. Define that word. You throw that word around so often. Yeah. And there's a word that there's a lot of there's a lot of definitions of that word. Right wing, you know, authoritarian government, all that stuff. But also like forcing people to behave and think in a certain That's way. That's what they hate about religion. Yeah. And they claim also, they hate religion because religious people tell them what to think and do. It's a religion. And then yeah. they do a religious mm -hmm. act of being like a liberal going, if you don't think like me, you must be bad. 100%. Racism's their devil. And you it's know, okay to hate the devil, and so they try to hate it. Do you know who Mark Andreessen is? Mm -mm. He's a brilliant uh, venture capitalist, like super genius guy, and been on my podcast a couple times. He broke the whole woke thing down as a religion. And like it explained is. how you can get excommunicated yep. and cast passed out and that's and people are fearful of that so they stay inside the lines yeah. there's a doctrine they all follow they're using race because guess what who'd want to be it's friends just with race. the races it's also like, gender it's also like stupid shit like you could be non-binary if you're a white man you got yeah. nowhere to go hey i can't be even, i can't even be like right. fucked with like nothing no one's discriminating against me you can become non-binary sure you're like oh great you can still fuck girls 100 percent. you just have to say you're a they them well, for like in my like for what I've like in my observation, like the left used to be really like the cool, the progressive side, the nice side, yeah. the good side. Whereas to now, like I'm like, listen to yourselves. You don't like rich people, right? You're mad at everyone wealthy. You're mad at the super wealthy. You hate uh, gym bros. You hate frat guys. You hate uh, straight white guys. You hate boomers. You're yeah. mad at your grandparents. You're mad. You you seem to not like a lot of people. <laughs> yeah. For being the just most objecting side. Just completely generalizing. Right. Also, where's our empathy? <clears throat> right. I think what, if I ever met like a crazy right wing, which I never have met any of these Nazis they're talking about, but if I did meet one, I believe that I could have some empathy for them and some sympathy and go, they're just dumb. Yeah. They're not evil. They're, they're just, just dumb. dumb and they can be they can be like convinced otherwise. They're also they're also programmed, right? It's generally they're programmed by the people around them. Yeah. Yeah. But where's our empathy? <clears throat> I watched this documentary on Netflix. It was about like the KKK and the woman who made the documentary was like a kind of a cute Muslim girl. And she like interviewed actual white nationalists and, and KKK members. And she brings them into this thing. And what I learned from that documentary, uh, what I got from it was that like, oh, they don't even really believe this. They just yeah. wanted a group. They yep. wanted a daddy. They wanted someone to like, yeah. so they, they, they thought to themselves, I can hate black people. I mean, if uh, if they're over there, I don't ever have to confront one, and I don't right. ever have to be. Uh, and then when they we will meet a black guy, they'll go, "Well, not you. We're talking about the idea." <laughs> they're not even talking about that actual person. And the girl in the documentary goes, "Well, you know that you let me in, and you've been very nice to me, and I'm a Muslim woman." And the guy's like, "Well, not you. We're You're talking about yeah. yeah." So it's because they just wanted a group like you, right? They right. just wanted a group like like black gang members or Hispanic MS nineteen, whatever these groups are, whatever your little lesbian group gang. is. Is whatever yeah. your baseball the team is, league. they needed a group. <laughs> they needed a group. And their group was like, I can hate some people I've never seen before. Yeah, and that's why it's so dangerous, like, groups, like, um, where, where they can get entrapped. Because uh, the uh, the Governor Whitmer case, do you know that case? Mm-mm. <laughs> these guys conspired to, ki to kidnap the governor of uh, the Michigan? Humba. Michigan? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, there's 14 people involved. 12 of them were FBI informants. Oh, so, <laughs> yeah. I mean, so you got these two dudes who just wanted to be in a group. Yeah, that's it. Two guys. You, hey, man, we're going to kidnap them. We're yeah. going to take over the government. Fuck it. Yeah. That's hilarious. Yeah. yeah, they just wanted some shit. Yeah. Red Riders. I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> what time? I can yeah, probably had a name for their gang. Uh, they were cool. They called. They had a group chat. Probably felt real cool. Yeah, uh, we're the guys doing it. Gang. We're gonna make some yeah, change. We're getting a duct tape. Vigilantes. Yeah. Meanwhile, these two guys thought they were cosplaying, and then they got yeah. arrested. Like I didn't know. I didn't really plan on doing I it. I know. It wasn't even my idea. It's tricky. 
Another problem I've noticed too, like along these lines, is like let's say we're in a group. Let's say we have some group, and then we find out one of the guys in our group did a bad thing. But we got we got to pay our bills, right? We got a group, and also we do we do have kind of camaraderie. So a bad thing groups like to do is cover up for that person. Right. So like. It's not like every Catholic priest. I've heard all your terrible bits at the comedy clubs about the Catholic priests from every comic I know. It's not like all the ones were fine with sexually molesting children. It's just that there were a lot that did, and the church thought, this is not going to look good for us. Let's mm -hmm. cover this up. It happens in the military. Sometimes there's some bad guys in the military, and they instead of like they they don't want people to think if you send your daughters to the military, bad things are going to happen. So they kind of internally deal with it. 